at most football games, you're going to see two groups. The cheerleaders, I tried out and I didn't make it. I'm still a little bitter about that, but I still got the quarterback. <laughs> and then there's the band. And no, I'm not going to play this thing. I can barely figure out how to hold it. And in this next football cafe story, we went down to Texas to spend a weekend with the band. How do you do this? <laughs> this is Dallas, Texas. Every fall, the city hosts the famed Texas State Fair. It's also at this time that they play a little football. Oklahoma, Texas, Sooners versus the Longhorns, one of college football's greatest rivalries. We're not playing any favorites, but the University of Texas band is allegedly, arguably, you put in the disclaimer, the best fed college band in America. Well, I don't know if it's the best fed, but we certainly probably eat the most. <laughs> so we decided to spend a weekend with the Texas band. The events begin on Friday night when the band checks into their Dallas hotel. After unpacking, band members go out into the Dallas night in search of food. They sent us out this evening, gave us uh, $20 to go out and eat, and uh, it's a choice of our restaurants, wherever we wanted to eat tonight, and we chose Mexican food. Giving the band choices is important, because some of its 350 members are pretty picky about their food, especially the night before the big game. Nothing with sugar. Uh, sugar is bad for horns. Grapes are good for baritone playing. <laughs> they help my ambassador. Not all the band members are quite this fastidious. And because we're in the drum line, we can eat anything we want. We don't have to worry about breathing. At the same time, we're working on a full stomach. In fact, we tend to play better when we eat. Game day begins at 5 in the morning. The band enjoys a breakfast buffet. Then is off to the buses for a pregame practice. On this autumn morning, Dallas is unseasonably cold, 40 degrees, and unfortunately it's raining. But the band practices on. A couple of hours before kickoff, they unpack their equipment just outside the Cotton Bowl. They warm up. They hold one last practice. It draws the attention of their opposition and the worship of their fans. A few things about the Texas Longhorn Band. Their colors are burnt orange. They can't do this enough. Hook 'em horns, which comes from the Texas Longhorn. Its symbol is on the band's instruments. And they love being in the band. Oh my gosh, yes, love it. It's the most awesome experience of my life. Longhorn Band Director Kevin Setatal leads his troops into the stadium. Working with these students, they're really, they're really high quality people. They just do marching band for the love of the music and college football. And there are very few kids on scholarship or anything like that. They're just out here because they want to be here. A final march into the stadium. The Texas contingency includes the band, the Longhorn, the cheerleaders, the fans, and these guys. Everyone is in place, and the famed Texas-Oklahoma game begins. On this particular afternoon, it was more than just the rainy weather that would lead one to say the sun wasn't shining on Texas. While one band cheered, the other one didn't. Things went from bad to worse. The scoreboard told the story. As the first half came to a close, the Longhorn Band left the stands for their halftime show, knowing full well that they would be one of their university's only highlights. The Texas Longhorn Band's halftime show was a hit. They relinquished the field to the Oklahoma Band for their performance. As the Sooners entertained the Cotton Bowl crowd, their band counterparts, well, they ate. We got our uh, famous Texas Longhorn uh, barbecue sandwich. Finger looking good. Just like mom makes. Great. Eating was a good thing for one of the best fed bands in America. How else would you explain these students' reaction with their school losing by more than 40 points? Food is an important part of the Longhorn Band experience, and that leads us to this question. Who are the biggest eaters in the band? It's definitely tubas. Tubas. We are definitely the biggest eaters in the entire Longhorn Band. It takes a lot of energy, man. You gotta eat lots of food, and keep the energy level going so you can stay pumped and keep that horn up. The tubas would have a chance to test their reputation. 
As the Longhorn football team limped into the locker room after a tough game, the band raced to get in line for a special barbecue. Every year following the Texas-Oklahoma game, the band is treated to the bird barbecue. After the uh, Texas-Oklahoma game, we have a barbecue for the band, and uh, we've been doing it several years. The reason I do it is because I enjoy the band and, I, and enjoy seeing the young folks and uh, to come and, and have a barbecue and, and have fellowship and that sort of thing. And that takes us back to the tubas. These guys play together, eat together, and have their own pork chop cheer before they eat barbecue. Pork chop, pork chop, greasy, greasy. We're gonna beat ya, easy, easy. Chilete, porco, chilete, porco, maricosa, maricosa. Te vamos a ganar, fácil, fácil. After spending the weekend with the Texas Longhorn Band, it's obvious, win or lose, they're having a good time.